Alright, how's it going, my guys? Welcome back to Ranked Over Battles. This last episode, we had a 2v4 comeback. A 2v4 comeback. I can't... yeah, it's... It's pretty cool. Alright, I don't understand this team at all. <laughs> it has a Reshiram, a Torkoal, a Venusaur, a Thunderous, a Pelipper, and a... Richie Lecky. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead Lapras and Crobat with Crozma. Actually, let me lead. Let me lead Lapras and Salazzle. Cause I can't stop the fake out with Necrozma and I guess Tapu Koko. Yeah. Because, I mean, they can't stop the fake out, so I can just, if they lead Torkoal and Venusaur, I can just fake out the Venusaur. And Max Geyser the Torkoal. Can't really stop it. And then if they lead the Pelipper, I can just freeze dry the Pelipper and fake out whatever comes in, whether it's the Regieleki or the Thunderous. I don't I don't see Reshram coming in at the very beginning. I see it waiting from the back. And either way, Lapras can hit it for neutral. <laughs> Alright, what you got? What you got? What are you leading with? Reshram and Regilecki. Okay. Alright, um, I guess with that, I'll just fake out the Regilecki and Max Resonance it. I wasn't expecting the Reshram to come out right now. I would like to get rid of this Regilecki as quickly as possible. It's a pretty big threat to my Lapras. <laughs> trying to figure out what to do. Are they Dynamaxing their Reshiram or their Regilecki? Okay, good. I was like, oh no. Please not the. The Regilecki. That sounded so cool. <laughs> it was very menacing. Alright, so we both die again tonight. We both die the first turn. So I've got the fake out off. That breaks the Reggie Leggy's focus dash. Kind of makes Quake. Ooh. That might not be good. Eh, it'll, it should still be good, actually. Because if the Reggie Leggy does survive, then it'll probably attack the Lapras. And I'll be behind a max resistance. And I'll get my weakness policy. And then I'll max Geyser, Regilecki, and Sludge Bomb the Reshram. Maybe poison it? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Ooh, both switch the Salazzle. I would love it if the uh, Torkoal came in. I 
<laughs> That's actually really funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go top of Coco. What are you going to do now? Um, let's see. I'll just Brave Bird the Rice Ram. Because I don't see the Pelipper coming in anytime soon. Could be wrong, though. Ooh, my Squake again. I would have tried using, uh... Oh, what is it? Uh, Max Flare. To save your, uh, Torkoals. Save your Torkoal, but... That's okay. Both of our Dynamaxes are down now. I'm down 2-3. However, this Earthquake is going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> Attacked with my Lapras and Earthquake. Then if the Venusaur comes in, it can't put it can't put us to sleep because of Electric Train. And I believe I still have my Max Resonance up. Yeah, I still have two more turns of it. So, even if it does attack the Necrozma. I'm not afraid of either of them because of the the rain, the max resonance, and the uh, uh, assault vest. The power. Wow, you both went into the Lapras. Yeah, I would have gone to the Necrozma, but. That's just me. <laughs> right, who's that? Oh, it's a Venusaur. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna freeze dry and Photon Geyser. Like I said, they can't put in they can't put either of us to sleep. My is still up. If you attack the Lapras, you activate the... Oh. Well, I was just cancelled. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That one was actually... Interesting. I don't know how to put it. <laughs> Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. How's it going, my guys? Evian Ice here. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and also subscribe and share with your friends. It'll help a lot. If you want to see more from me, follow me on Twitter or hit up my Redbubble site for some merch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.